All right, guys, let's go ahead and write the equation of the blue graph that you see in front of you using transformations. All right, so the first thing I do is identify what type of graph this is. If you look at the formation of this blue graph, you should notice that it is a quadratic. Okay, so it is a quadratic. And when we think about that, we're going to say, well, the parent function of a quadratic is y equals to x squared. So I'm going to come over to the graph. I'm going to type y equals x squared. Now, once we've got that it is y equals to x squared in there, we're going to notice that it is obviously not overlapping that graph, and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to determine if we have to move it, if we have to reflect it, and if we have to stretch it. So the first thing I'm going to notice is I've got to move it. Well, how do I move it? I take the vertex and I say, okay, I got to get that vertex to move over to the right four and down another four. So I got to go right four and down four. Well, how do we write that in there? That is the X minus H and the plus K. So if I take Y equals X squared, to get it to move right, I just simply say y equals to x minus h, so minus 4 squared, and then down, so plus negative 4 or just minus 4. So let's go ahead and add that into our equation right here. And I'm going to say, okay, well, I've got parentheses x minus 4, close parentheses squared. Notice it's moved over to the right now. And I'm going to put minus 4 again and it has located itself down onto the vertex of the graph. Now we've accomplished our translation uh, by going right four and down four, okay? Um, now what we wanna do okay, is we wanna go ahead and um, we wanna go ahead and see, is there a reflection? Well, if it was a reflection, if there's no reflection, they go in the same direction. But right now you can see that our purple one is opening upwards or concave up. And the other one is our blue one that we're trying to model is concave down. And if it's concave down, that means there is a reflection. Okay, and that just means over the x-axis. So how do we do that? We just simply put a negative right in front of our equation. So let's go ahead and come to the front of our equation and put a negative. And you can see at this point that it is starting to form. Now, the one thing we really have to focus on now is determining, is there a, um, is there going to be a stretch? And so let's go ahead and look at that. When we do a stretch, the first thing I do is I draw the axis of symmetry. I'm going to draw the axis of symmetry. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line, or essentially like a new coordinate grid system, X and Y, through the vertex, okay? The second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to locate one, the first perfect point on a quadratic. And the perfect point on Y equals X squared is really just one, one, or over one, down one, over one, up one. So I do this, I go over here, I say that is one, one, or the first point that has a really nice a graph on it that shows up nicely on the graph without any decimals. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find another one, but I'm going to go to the new equation, to the blue one. So I'm going to look for that and I'm going to find it. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come down here and it is right there. Okay. And that is the first one that I can find that is 100% on the grid line. Now, in order to write the stretches, we need to have our A values and our B value. A is the vertical, B is the horizontal. And um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count from the axis of symmetry, and then I'm going to count from the uh, horizontal line that cuts across through the vertex. So now watch. Horizontal is two, okay, and the vertical, I'm sorry, the uh, vertical is two and the horizontal is three. So this is the horizontal and this right here is the vertical, okay? I'm gonna go back to the equation and I'm gonna play that vertical is A, which is gonna be two. So I'm gonna change that to a two right here. Okay? 
And then I am going to say x, I'm going to put x minus h, or in our case, x minus 4 is our h. I'm going to plug that in, and I am going to put that over our horizontal, which is 3. And it should overlap. So reiterating that, our equation is just simply negative 2, x minus 4, stretched horizontally by 3, squared, and then down 4. We've just written the equation of that line, of that quadratic, just using transformations.